Brian, just to take up that uh, point that Richard was discussing before the break then, we were really impressed with Villarreal in the previous rounds and we talked about the game plan that Emery had come up with and how it you know, outfoxed and caused problems for Juventus and Bayern Munich uh, over those uh, four games. Uh, how were Liverpool able to avoid those problems this evening? Well, they were very persistent. They worked very hard to uh, get the ball back and retain possession. They took some risks in possession, but they were also very vigilant defensively when there was a threat of a breakout. I thought Kanate and Van Dijk were very good uh, when they had anything to deal with. Alisson was sharp off the line once or twice when the ball was played over the top, as we discussed before the match. But they were just, it was total dominance for Liverpool in terms of being on top of the ball. Um, getting the ball back quickly when it looked like Villarreal wanted to try and play it out in the back after the goalkeeper had had uh, kicked it out. If they got any opportunity to try to play, but Liverpool were hounding them into into coffin possession up, I'd say, in mm. typical Liverpool fashion. So it was, as Richard said, a really professional performance. The only thing... They probably could have added an extra goal later on, which had made it more comfortable at 3 nothing. But I think 2 nothing will be enough. Mm. But they found it difficult to make the breakthrough. We saw that in the first half. And it was, it was, it was interesting. It was a slightly higher tempo at the start of the second half. It's a question we probably asked about Liverpool playing um, Champions League opponents on numerous occasions over the last five years or so. But did they play with an intensity and an energy and a physical level that Villarreal at times couldn't live with? Yeah, there's very few teams that can cope with Liverpool's intensity. Um, they've played 54 games now uh, in all competitions this season and they're still working as hard as they are. It's, it's almost everyone does it for the team. And you look at Liverpool and they have these big name players, but everyone works for the team. I was on a course recently and they were saying in pre-season most of the Premier League clubs are running 50 kilometres per week per player. Liverpool are doing 90 in pre-season to prepare for the season, to prepare to do the sort of work that they're putting in tonight. And it's insane. And you're looking at the, some of the best players in the world being able to sacrifice themselves for the team, put everything into running around and, and winning the ball back. And it's uh, it's such a simple thing to do, but it's very mm. difficult to get top players like Liverpool's to do it. How yeah, you, how do you do that? Like you've got you have guys... to buy into you have to buy into the managers what he's telling you and the manager is offering them the opportunity to go and win Champions Leagues, to go and win Premier Leagues and they've had the results, they've seen, they've had the trophies, they've had the medals and they want more of it. So as long as the manager's there and he's telling them, look what you're doing, I know it's hard work but look what the rewards well, are, yeah, keep he going. also selecting players when you look at the recruitment to fit the bill. There's no players been signed that there's any doubt about their yeah. attitude or any doubt about their style. The character as well, isn't it? Character, but the first thing is, does he run hard? Does he walk hard when we don't have the ball? That's the first thing. I mean, the, that's the first requisite of being in that team. If you're playing the advanced part of the pitch, you've got to walk hard to get the ball back. Obviously, you've got to have very mm. great skill on the ball and trickery and ability to score goals. But you've got to walk hard to get the ball back. And that was the most Thiago was the, was the hardest working player for Liverpool tonight. Probably the, the best player on the ball, but in terms of distance covered, he was right at the top of it and probably not what you would associate with him, but straight away he's bought into the, the ethos of what Liverpool means.